Chu here. Today we'll be making spicy salmon chips. Uh, look at you, what are spicy salmon chips? It's basically a rice paper chip topped off with the star of the show, the iconic spicy salmon poke. And I know what you're thinking. How can a sheet of rice paper become a crispy chip? Well, I guess you have to watch to find out. It's the perfect light snack for the hot sauna weather we have right now. And the flavor, a little creamy, a little spicy, and a puffy crunch that's, oh, so good. So stick around till the end and we can eat it together. Now let's get spicy salmon chipping. After a long hard day of fishing, I caught myself the freshest salmon in the sea. This is sashimi grade salmon, and it came with a pretty salmon rose just for you. What a rare species of rose shaped salmon. Since these bad boys are pre-sliced, I'll simply cube them up into tiny pieces, but don't chop them as fine as my crispy rice spicy salmon video, cause we want to still be able to chew and feel that buttery salmon texture. And if you're afraid of raw fish, no worries. Just leave it out beside you in the sun while you're tanning and it'll be cooked once you have a nice sunburn. I'm just kidding, please don't. Chuck them into a bowl and add your favorite mayo. I'm using QP mayo by the way and isn't QP mayo such a cute name? Add in your sriracha and I like it spicy. Finally, add a squeeze of lemon. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. This is optional, but I like to add in some masago, which are small little fish eggs, but let's not think about it like that. It gives the salmon a light little crunch and a cute polka dot pattern or poke dot. Uh, uh, did you get it? No? Okay. <laughs> Do a little mixy mix and look at those lovely salmon cubes coated in a pink blanket of creamy goodness. And I'm just gonna leave it to cool in the fridge until it's time to plate. I haven't done a snack break in a while. Also, how was your week? Oh, sounds wonderful, my week. My week was okay. I got here a sugar apple and I've never had this before so it'll be a treat for the both of us. And I found this cute little Yakult bottle. Actually, not cute little. This is ginormous. Ooh. The texture is like a jackfruit mixed with a pear. It tastes almost like a mango and a ripe pear. For our beverage, we got the mango tapioca drink with yogurt. Let's just crack this baby open. Oh. There was no cracking sound. Whoa, there's popping boba in this. This is very refreshing. Let's head back to the cooking. We have here the almighty edible piece of paper that's made out of rice. You can basically wrap anything with this, but today we're gonna deep fry them. Cut these into tortilla chip size pieces. These will expand in the oil, so be sure not to cut them too large. You know, sometimes I wonder if you can write on it. Imagine handing in your homework on a piece of rice paper. You'd get an A or fail. <laughs> Either way, it's an A plus for creativity to a pot with plenty of oil on high heat. Once your chopstick is boobling or reaches 180 Celsius, slide in your rice paper, and if it's hot enough, it should bubble and puff up almost instantly. Who would have thought that frying a smooth plastic-like sheet of rice paper would result in a crispy and puffy morsel of crunchiness? They sort of look like styrofoam, but edible, like those edible packing peanuts. And here's my impersonation of the rice paper puffing. Thank you. Taking a heaping spoonful of our spicy salmon, gently place it onto the rice paper chip, but don't put too much or else the salmon to chip ratio will be off. Unless you're the type of person that scoops a big portion of guac onto a teeny tiny chip, 
Yes, I'm looking at you. Oh, and here's the chance to show off another addition to my herb family. This is Helga. I had to give Gertrude, the basil plant, a sister. So now we have Helga, the chive. And now they can both play together or just sit in silence on the windowsill. Either way, I think Helga over here needs a little trim. Do a little choppy chop and sprinkle a little Helga on top. Uh, I mean chives. And there we have it, spicy salmon chips. And you need to serve it immediately before it gets soggy. So let's dig in. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm super excited. Look at that, gorgeous, just like you. All right, cheers, first bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. That's too good. Mmm! The rice paper is super delicate. As you can see, it already broke. The rice paper actually has a bit of a tang to it. That spicy mayo really comes through. Pairs perfectly with the sashimi salmon. I can taste a hint of the lemon. The rice paper is the perfect vessel to hold this but you better eat this quickly because since the rice paper is so delicate and we have a wet topping it'll get soggy pretty quickly this is a super refreshing snack or appetizer especially for the summer you can't go wrong with spicy salmon So this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't eat the um, peel. Eat. Mm. Oh, okay, you just swallowed that.